Commerzbank has been named as the best branch bank in Germany for multiple years in a row. In this video, we will show the five steps you need to take to be able to open your Commerzbank checking account online. Hey, my name is Jen and I'm from Guatemala. And mine is Yvonne and I'm German. And together we're from Simple Germany, where we create English content to help internationals settle into life in Germany more smoothly. smoothly. <laughs> Additional to this YouTube channel, we also run our website simplegermany.com where we have written in-depth guides on topics that we don't cover on YouTube. So feel free to check it out. So first, let's just talk about why Commerzbank might be an option for you when there are so many online banks uh, in English, I must add, out there in Germany. So we came up with six reasons. Correct. Yeah. First of all, the online banks are online banks and there are no branches available. So if you are a person who likes to go to a bank physically, then Commerzbank is your best option. Yes, because there you can do transactions personally. But additional to that, they have ATMs that you can deposit money into your bank account. With online banks, that is very tough to achieve. Cheap. It's quite impossible sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number three is that the bank account is free of charge as long as you meet one condition, which we will talk about that later. Number four, it is one of the few branch banks, like traditional banks in Germany, that actually offer English support. And not 100%, but I would say a good 85%. Yes, that 85% means that if you go to a branch bank, most likely they will speak English. When you call customer service, also you can get English support. Not so easy. We'll also talk about that later. And the app for your phone is in English as well as the website or the, the online banking. Online banking, exactly. It's also in English. The only thing that's not in English and the reason why we're doing this video is the online sign up to get an account. Funny. <laughs> And one of maybe the main reason why you might be looking into opening a Commerzbank account is because a lot of online banking accounts, they're very amazing and their procedure for signing up is super easy. However, a lot of them have a lot of restrictions on the nationalities that they accept to open the account. Whereas Commerzbank, because it's a branch bank that you can go personally to identify yourself, they accept the majority of nationalities in the world. Also, you have unlimited cash withdrawals at uh, the cash group uh, ATMs, which is Commerzbank, Deutsche Bank, Postbank, a few others. But you have plenty of opportunity to withdraw cash unlimited and it's not just restricted to like two or three times. Before we show you how to open the Commerzbank account online, you should first know a little bit of a disclaimer of the requirements that you need to meet to be able to open the account. Correct, yes. First of all, you need to be over 18 years of age. You also already need to be registered in Germany. And if you are uh, from a non-EU or non-EEA country or national, then you also need to have your Meldebescheinigung uh, mm. at hand, which you will get when you register your address, and maybe your residence permit. Yes, but most importantly, your passport. Correct. <laughs> now also to brush a little bit over this free account, the account remains free of charge as long as once per month you have at least 700 euros coming into the account. So it's very important to highlight that these 700 euros don't need to be all in one payment. They can be different small payments. Again, it needs to be a minimum of 700 euros. The total? In total. So if you receive, let's say, your salary, if you are a full time employee and you receive your salary, that should be more than enough. And you don't have to have 700 euros in your account at all times. It's just the income, the cash flow needs to be at least 700 euros and you can spend the money as much as you want and, and the month in 100 euros or 10 if you like. Pretty much Commerzbank wants you to use the account frequently, there needs to be cash flowing for it to be free. And if it's just sitting there and you don't use it enough, then you will need to pay 9 euro 90 per month. Which I think it's very expensive. It's an administration fee pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> now let's jump into the five steps you need to take to open your Commerzbank account online. Step number one is that you will need to fill out the online form. Ivan is gonna jump into the computer. <laughs> onto the computer. Onto the computer and show you how to fill out this form. Okay, so if you click on the link in the description box below, which is by the way, our partner link through which we will get a commission once you successfully open your Commerzbank account online, you will see this screen right here in front of you. And when you see the screen, all you have to do is click on this yellow button, which means you can open a free checking account. Zero Conto means checking account. And you will land on this page, which there is currently a bug. Uh, I don't know why, because this text should be right next to it. So if you refresh your page, you will get the page the way it is supposed to look like. Now you can either continue with uh, the German language, which you know might end up being quite complicated, or you can do a right click and then select translate to English to get this page translated by Google. Now, obviously, disclaimer, this will not be 100% accurate translations. We do have this guide also in a written 
form where we have actually manually translated the German that you see right here. So if you would like that, we will tell you about it at the end of the video. You will start by entering your personal details. So I am a woman. I do not have a specific title in terms of doctor or professor, so I will not select that. If you do, then please do so. And then enter your first and last name as they appear on your ID or in this case also passport. In this case, I will take a fake name and that will be Max Mustermann. The birth name also as stated in the ID if you've changed your name through marriage or other reasons. Then there is your date of birth, which here it is very important. You see the example how the computer is expecting you to enter your date of birth. However, if we enter it in the Google Translated English version, you see that it does a dash instead of the dot. This will result in an error once you try to submit this form. So before you enter your birth date, make sure you go back to the German language up here in the menu board, enter your birth date, and at first the day, then the month, and then the year. Once you've done that, you can go back to English and continue in the English language. Your place of birth, you can put your city where you were born, then the country of birth, take your gens country, and also the nationality. Here we go. Then we continue and you need to enter your residence address. And this is very important that it actually is the address where you are living or where you're receiving mail because you will get important letters after you successfully apply and verify for your Commerzbank account. So you need to be available at this address. I need to go to German real quick because I don't know what this means. Aha, your city. We can go back to English, then your street and your house number. And then you need to enter a date again in the German version. Otherwise it will not select the dots. Uh, since when you've been living at that address and that usually is the same date when you registered yourself at the Bürgeramt and you did your Anmeldung. So let's just say you moved in on the 20th of February this year. The next question we go back to English is about your tax ID, which you will receive via postal mail a few weeks after you've done your Anmeldung, you register yourself. If you have it, enter it here. If you don't, leave it free and you can enter it later. If you're not a sure where you can find your tax ID. We also have a guide on that, which we will link in the description box below. Very important is this little tick box. If you are a tax resident in any other country other than Germany um, or have unlimited tax ability in the US, you need to tick this box and then you need to add the country where you are tax liable to fulfill the tax duties. If you've done so, you can click, I mean, I'll untick this <laughs> and then you go and continue. Commerzbank seem to have a bug at the moment. So if you see this white page, don't worry, just scroll down and this is where it continues. So you need to enter your current employment. Like what are you working as? Are you an employee? Are you a craftsperson? Are you a trainee? Do you work for the government or are you basically staying at home, supporting a family? Are you without a job, retired, a student, or are you a self-employed uh, independent craftsperson or a self-employed person in general? This is a very weird translation. If I go to German, it would pretty much just say, are you self-employed, selbstständig? For the sake of this example, we select employee and then you also select the position. And again, this is a very weird translation. It means either lightened, are, are you are you a manager, are you leading other people, or you can also choose to not enter any details and then continue. Now Commerzbank would like to know how to contact you best. And you can enter your phone number. You can either do it in the plus four nine format and then the phone number without a zero, or you could also just write it in the German format with a zero itself. Then you can also enter your email address, which also makes sure that it is a correct email address. Okay, and now you need to enter your username and desired password to log into your online banking once your account has been activated. Your username needs to follow this model of characters, so 8 to 15 characters, letters and at least one number or special character. However, it does not accept like the German umlauts or special cases. So in this case, we could simply say 
simple. Germany, and then we need a number five, that should be working. And then a desired password that you should also enter. Again, eight to 45 characters and then repeat the same password. If you did something wrong or did not enter the correct password or similar password twice, the same password twice, then you will get this error message. So let me do that again. And continue. Okay, now you need to enter your expected salary that you will receive on your Commerzbank account. Remember, you need to receive a minimum of 700 euros per month for this account to remain free of charge. So you should at least enter um, the one to 1,000 euros and not select here the no regular cash receipts. If you use it as your salary account, then you should enter the yeah, bracket where your salary lands in your net salary. So let's just select one to 2,000 euro. And now you need to select how many times you believe you will withdraw cash per month from your account. And that's sorry, not how many times, but how much money. And to be honest, um, that is up to you whether you will need a lot of cash on hand, but I would select here the uh, smallest amount. This is a very interesting check mark because you would need to answer the question whether you plan to make a lot of transfers to and from abroad with your Commerzbank account. To be honest, we would uh, recommend to stay away from this function because Commerzbank is a traditional bank and charges quite hefty fees for foreign um, transfers. And there are other options such as the online bank or online service provider WISE where you can transfer money abroad for less fees. Now, the next tricky question is whether you would like to get a MasterCard debit card to your current account. Sounds great, however, if you read the fine print, you will have to pay three euro 50 per month in order to get this MasterCard debit card. Uh, the argument here is you can use it for payments on the internet. The thing with the Commerzbank account is you will get a EC Giro MasterCard, which is a German payment system card, and that will let you allow to pay um, in German shops, magazines, restaurants, and so on. However, with this card, you will not be able to pay online. But what you can do is you can enter your bank account to, for example, PayPal, and then use PayPal as a payment method online, which gets accepted by the biggest uh, online shops, and that is uh, no issue to pay with. For Apple and Google Pay, you will be able to request a virtual debit card uh, from Commerzbank that you can then add to your phone. So I will untick this box because we do not want to pay an extra three euro fifty for a just another debit card. Now they would like you to answer the question whether you want to open a depot. Depot is a German word and depot stands for securities account. Pretty much whether you want to invest into stocks or ETFs through your Commerzbank account. Again, they do offer the service. However, it does have quite some high fees. As it just says here, you know, there are surcharges and purchase fees and there are better or at least in English and cheaper options online, where we have also done a video and a guide on, which we will link in the description box below on the best online brokers in Germany. So I would also not take this box at this moment. Now you pretty much need to agree to the terms and conditions, which of course you can read in German if you um, can or want to. If not, you can just go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. Let's see which boxes we want to tick. If you would like to receive more information about the current account, you can click yes. And then you need to agree to the terms and conditions that it is you who opens the account and you consent that you have taken note of the information sheet. You can download the information sheet here also to save to your records and that you agree to the safekeeping of deposits. Currently, there is this promo of 50 euro that you might get. There are some uh, caveats, of course, here, some conditions that you can read to get them. I will not get into them because that might change in the future. And then you can optionally consent to get calls or emails from Commerzbank for marketing purposes. And you can also optionally consent 
whether the Commerzbank can contact you for advice on financial services. You can also optionally consent whether your data can be transmitted to um, corporation partners. This is information that your data will be processed to check your credit uh, history and your credit score, the famous Schufa, one of the um, reasons why you may or may not actually be accepted to get this Commerzbank account, data protection and all the other shenanigans. This is information on overdraft. Commerzbank is a full-blown bank account, so offers a full-blown bank account. So there is also overdraft possibilities, which come, of course, with an interest rate. And now your data is being verified. And now you pretty much have all of your data that you entered summarized that you should double check. And if you see an error, of course, please correct it. This is just an example. And make a petition actually means Antrag erstellen. So you basically apply for the opening of the Commerzbank account. Again, your data is being processed. All right, and now I need to select how I would like to verify, or in this case, the translation would be legitimize myself, my identity. And here you already get your IBAN number, which you should save. You can take a screenshot of it or write it down because this will be your actual bank account number um, that you will give to your employer or to other uh, service providers that you will use in the future. You can download a copy of your application or send it via email, which I would recommend to do either or for your records. And then you can select how you would like to verify yourself. Since I have entered Guatemala as my nationality, I cannot verify myself via video call, but I have to do it in person, either at the post office or at a Commerzbank branch. And we will go into detail together again with Jen and continue the video on how to finalize your application to a Commerzbank account. If you're liking this video, then please consider giving us a like. That really helps this channel out. Another thing that you can do to help us out is to consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so yet. If you want to go the additional mile, then you can always buy us a coffee at simplegermany.com slash coffee. This is a contribution that you can do to this channel in the shape of a virtual coffee, which will really help us out. Thank you for your support. Once you have successfully filled out the form online and you've been accepted into Commerzbank, then you can go to step number two, which is to verify your identity. You will have 90 days to do this. If you're from the EU or EEA, you can use the very simple and fast uh, online video ident where you pretty much have a call with um, a person that will verify your ID. You need to you know, shuffle it in a few ways, <laughs> uh, take pictures of you, you need to enter your data and pretty much it's, it's a verification process. And right after your account uh, you know, opening will be processed. Big disclaimer though, because of legal reasons, the video ident staff can only speak to you in German. So if you don't feel comfortable speaking German or understanding German, or you are a non-EU or EEA citizen, then you only have two other options to identify yourself. Number one is going to the post office. You don't need an appointment to go to the post office. You just need to wait in line. You need to show the email that you have received from Commerzbank after filling out your form. And you need to provide your passport or any other sort of ID, but passport usually is the safest bet. And then the post office will gather this information, send it to Commerzbank, and then a few days later, Commerzbank will let you know if you have been identified successfully or not. This, I would say, is maybe the not so efficient way because you are adding like a middleman to the whole process versus you can go to the Commerzbank branch itself. Yeah. And there you also don't need an appointment. You just show up, wait in line and tell them I want to identify myself. Again, you present the email and your passport and then they and verify. Your uh, and your mail de Shining room, very important. And there you identify yourself and Commerzbank can already tell you it worked or it didn't. Yeah. So as a little disclaimer here, we have talked to Commerzbank multiple times and we've always gotten the answer that you only cry your passport and your mail de However, we do know that in individual cases, they may also ask for your residence permit with at a minimum amount of validity, sometimes mm. a year, sometimes less. So this is a case by case situation that is not a general standard, but can happen just as an FYI. Yes, very good disclaimer. Once you have successfully identified yourself, then you can provide the IBAN to your employer for them to give to finance for them to be able to pay your salary. But that doesn't mean that you'll have access to your account just yet, because then you need to follow the next step. Then we go to step number three, which is activating your online banking. For which you will receive a letter, snail mail letter, around three to four days later uh, in your letterbox. And that letter contains instructions on how to actually activate your online banking. Yes, the process is very straightforward. You will need to also download a 
app called Photo 10 app. And this one will help you identify yourself. It adds a second layer of authentication for you it's to like identify yourself. It's like a two-factor authentication. Very good. Yes. yes. You also need your username and your password that you set up while you filled out the form in the online application. Yes. So make sure that you have kept that in a very safe place. A little bit about this Photo 10 app. You will always need to have this app installed on your phone if you want to use Commerzbank to pay online or anything else. This is, as you mentioned, a second a two-factor authentication method. So meaning that if you pay things online, you will get a notification asking you, hey, are you sure you want to pay for this? And you will have two buttons, either cancel or accept. And that will either give the green light or cancel the transaction for that website. So make sure that you have notifications enabled for this app because otherwise you're going to miss the notifications and you might not be able to sometimes log into the online banking or finish or complete your online purchases. Or transaction. Like or if you want to wire money, the same thing. So pretty also. much anything that's online where you don't appear in person, you need to use the Phototon app to verify that it's you. Yes. So just to give you three examples, to log into the online banking, to play for online stuff, or to do transfers. Step number four in the process is to actually receive the PIN for your Giro card. Which will also come by snail mail. Yes. And this is a very important letter because in it you will have the PIN that will give you access to when you go to ATMs and stuff. Correct. And then in a different letter, a few days later, you will get your Giro card. Your Giro card, also called EC card, is kind of like your debit card and it is only a German payment card. It is not a debit card accepted internationally. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the EU, but not very widely spread. So this card is your entrance to most of German shops and stores that mm. might not accept credit or debit cards. Mm -hmm. However, you cannot use this card for online payments. True. And once you have all this set up, yay, yeah. you have successfully opened your Commerzbank account online. And you can start using it. Yes. Now, how do you contact customer service, which we mentioned it's in English. However, there is kind of like a few tricks to it because it's not just as simple as you dial a phone number and you get a greeting in English. Actually, the whole recording is in German. So as of 2022, I have done multiple tests on how to achieve this in the simplest way and the way that I have managed to make it work is the following. Step number one, dial the customer service phone number. <laughs> Step number two, wait for Germans to speak. Herzlich willkommen bei der Commerzbank. <laughs> it's going to be a recording. They're going to ask you questions and if you don't understand any of them, just reply nine to all of them. Really, that works. It's going to be like four or five times I have to say nine, 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 nine. And then you will see the mat, you will hear the magical words. Ich verbinde Sie mit einem Mitarbeiter. Yes, which means we're connecting you to a customer service agent. Uh, when the agent picks up, then you can kindly ask if they speak English. If they do, they will reply with a very cheerful and helpful, yes, of course I can, how may I help you? If they don't, then they will let you know, oh, so sorry, I need to transfer you to someone else because then they will transfer you to an English speaking agent. And that's it. If you have further questions or would like to see this on a slower scale, you can always revert to our in-depth article that we've written on our website, simplegerming.com, in a step-by-step -step guide on how to open your Commerzbank bank account. Until next time, cheers! cheers.